my eyes Saw a pretty little thing approaching me She said, I never seen a man Who looks so all alone Or could you use a little company But if you pay the right price Your evening will be nice And you can go and send me on my way I said, you're such a sweet young thing Why you do this to yourself She looked at me And this is what she said Oh, there ain't no rest for the wicked Money don't grow on trees I got bills to pay In Borderlands, you play as a mercenary who travels to a desolate planet covered by rocks and garbage. Most of the locals, from the psychotic self-immolating bandits to the giant acid-spewing insects, would like nothing better than to kill and eat you. Your reason for being here? You're searching for an alien treasure that may or may not exist and may or may not even be treasure. Now, the kind of person who would go on such a quest doesn't really seem like the sort who would play well with others. But that's exactly what Borderlands does. As a cooperative experience, Borderlands sucks you and your fellow mercs into the world of Pandora, feeding you a steady diet of satisfying combat, valuable loot, and level-boosting experience, and before you know it, you'll have spent hours and hours reducing Pandora's population and making yourself richer and stronger. It's intoxicatingly fun, though the experience is significantly diluted when you're playing alone. Friendly in-game characters are sparse, and the story really only serves to nudge you along from area to area. You get far more satisfaction from the game if you take on plentiful side quests than if you put your head down and plow straight on towards the finale. Borderlands is about the journey, not the destination. The world of Pandora has an eye-catching artistic style that's colorful in a dusty frontier kind of way, and it looks cel-shaded, but not quite. It's a unique look, and it accounts for a lot of the character in Borderlands. Though the many areas you travel through often feel familiar, there's a solid amount of variety and enough thoughtful design touches that make it fun to explore. Exploring is not only fun, it's rewarding, because the denizens of Pandora really like to put their stuff in containers they can't lock. Chests, safes, lockers, washing machines, toilets, even piles of animal vomit glow green when they have something inside you can grab. And you're gonna do a lot of grabbing in your travels. Looking down to pick up items may reveal some lackluster textures, and Borderlands doesn't really boast the most technically proficient presentation, but what it lacks in precision, it makes up for in style. You play as one of four characters, each with their own unique look and special combat ability. The soldier can deploy a shielded turret, the hunter can release his bird of prey, the siren can turn invisible and speedy, and the berserker can just freak right out and start punching things. Developing your character is one of the most satisfying parts of Borderlands. You gain experience for killing enemies, finishing quests, and completing challenges. Experience rewards roll in at a good clip, and your leveling up allows you to expand your skill set and become more awesome. Another rewarding part of Borderlands is the loot. Loot is dropped by enemies, found in containers, or granted at the end of a quest. It includes ammo, money, guns, shields, guns, mods that boost or alter your grenades, guns, mods that enhance your skills, guns, and guns. Pandora appears to be some kind of cash cow slash dumping ground for arms manufacturers, and you'll soon feel like a gun runner yourself as you pick up and sell hundreds of guns over the course of the game. You have limited inventory space, so you'll frequent the many conveniently located machines where you can buy and sell pretty much anything. Comparing weapons in your inventory is a cinch, and it's amusing to see the sheer variety of guns you come across. Collecting loot is gratifying not just for the upgraded gear you'll receive, but from the cash you get when selling it off, which you can then use to buy more upgraded gear. The steady stream of skill and gear improvements makes each encounter worthwhile, even if you've killed that pack of bandits seven times before. Enemies regularly respawn, and encounters happen often, but for the most part, Borderlands manages to keep repetition at bay. Guns handle well, shooting them is satisfying. The action just feels good. There's a great second win mechanic that allows you to come back from the brink of death by killing an enemy, keeping you from respawning and paying a fine. And enemies die in a grisly variety of ways, which is often a reward in and of itself. Borderlands is all about doling out rewards for your enemy blasting, and it does so really well. It's easy to get into the rhythm of killing groups of enemies, gathering the fruits of your labor, moving on to the next group, killing them, grabbing loot, and so on. This rhythm is punctuated by leveling up, fighting bosses, and visiting vending machines and bounty boards to cash in. This stream of satisfaction flows so steadily that you might forget your overall objective, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The mythical vault is your ultimate destination, but this isn't a journey you feel particularly compelled to complete. 
The main story arc does take you to some interesting places, but the conclusion is unsatisfying and anticlimactic to say the least. If you play Borderlands like a first person shooter with a proper single player campaign, you'll be doing yourself and the game a disservice. Though the action is still rewarding and satisfying, it pales in comparison to the rollicking good fun of cooperative play. You can play split screen with one friend or with up to three other players online. With even one other teammate, the game gets much livelier, the enemies get tougher, and you have a lot more fun. With a team of four players, the action is downright riotous. The slow rhythm of leveling, looting, and questing quickens to a brisk clip, ratcheting up the excitement and the satisfaction. It's easy to join other players' games or to invite them to yours, and players of different levels can play together seamlessly. On the whole, Borderlands does a good job of moderating enemy strength to suit players in the game, but the closer your teammates are to your level, the better. When you've got a group of buddies driving around Pandora, churning out quests, grabbing loot, and blasting anything that moves, hours will pass in a blur of fun, rewarding action. Borderlands is stylish and satisfying, just be sure to invite some friends along for the journey.